So I'm on like a two day kind of like music central event thing at the moment. Nah. <laughs> this is day one, we're here for the rehearsals. So we're all in like a music rehearsal studio and we're basically like, well, eating lunch and then rehearsing on the first day. And I'll just keep you updated as much as I can because sometimes I can't film stuff, so we'll see how it goes anyway. Does anyone want to say hi to my vlog? Yeah, hey! hey. I've got a YouTube channel. Um, on a... Yo, DJ Donnie, you want some back So it's like a music rehearsal venue, it's called The Joint. And they've got like guitars. So they have all different guitars for like the people that come and rehearse here. How cool is that? That is so cool. And like around here they've got like music stands, they've got I don't know what they've got, but everything. They've got absolutely everything. <laughs> I'm vlogging. <laughs> yeah, just having a look what's down here. They've got another room here for DJ. It's got a little piano, keyboard, it's not plugged in, drums. Amber room, rehearsals with a backing track, it says. And then rehearsals with the band on oh, my life. Yes. There's people in there. It's not very big, this place is tiny. Wow. Just got to my hotel room. This is so nice. I can't believe like how nice everything is. Like they treat us like oh, like we're kings and queens basically. It's amazing. Woo! So after I've put my stuff away, we've got to go to the venue and help out with the rehearsals with the artists. But of course I can't film that. For, I don't know, they just won't allow us to. But anyway, see you in the next clip. I'm literally just wandering around. Like, I nearly ended up in Islington. <laughs> I'm at St. Pancras Station, like, just looking around because that building is so pretty. I'm trying to show it properly. Look at that! I just, I love architecture. So basically I was wandering around, bumped into some weirdos, saw a cat. The cat was really miserable. So I was like, eh. So I walked back the other way and I found a great place, really friendly people and like I had like a really nice salad and then after that I was just like oh I've got three hours to kill so I was just like okay then well where can I go now so I'm just wandering around London seeing what I could do really anywhere I could go because I've actually never been to this part of London before so I'm just like okay then let's find something it's just I want to go to actually I want to go to a museum like so badly but I don't know where it is but at least I'm not walking that way because I ended up in Islington and I was just like where am I going what am I doing so this is an improvement I guess but if not I'll just look at the architecture and just I don't know I could just go back to my hotel room but how boring would that be? Like, how boring would that be just to sit in a hotel room when there's all this out here, you know? Okay, so what I was looking at was the St. Pancras Renaissance Hotel in London, which, oh my God, I should so stay here one day. Like, look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> There's a dog in that car. <laughs> I don't agree with it being in a convertible because like 
you know, the dog could jump out. Like, how dangerous is that? You know, I think I'm striking some luck now. I've just found, what is it? It's a library. Well, I guess that's something. British Library. I think there's a queue to get in. Oh my God, they check your bags and they scan your body? I only want to go into a library, like what the hell? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to read a book. I don't want to do anything dangerous. Just having a look around the gift shop. See if there's anything I want to buy. Wow, look at this little polar bear. Handmade from Tagua. That's really adorable, actually. I don't know anyone that would wear it, though. Otherwise, oh my god, there's loads here. You know why, you know. Wow. wow, it continues. It smells weird in here. I'm not going to say what it smells like. <laughs> it's amazing, there's all this Harry Potter stuff. Badge collection. Wow. Look at it. Oh. Like, why did I even walk and end up in Islington when I could have just walked the other way and got to all of this? Like, what did I even do? Like, why? <laughs> like, why would I do this? <laughs> oh. Anyway, let's keep looking. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. There's a bean bag. There's like stars, like constellations. I mean, it's 130 pounds, but oh, I love that. Look at that. I love that. Oh my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is so cool. This is really cool. Trying to see if there's anything that I could buy. If there's anything that takes my interest. I don't know. Wow. wow! You know, I nearly didn't bring this camera with me. Like, why? Like, what would I have done? Well, I don't know about that. Well, yeah, there's a lot to see. I would have kicked myself if I didn't bring this camera with me. Because obviously for the event at the Coco tomorrow, I'm not really allowed to vlog, so that's why, but oh my god. <laughs> it's a shame I didn't see anything that I wanted to buy in there though. Ah, oh, they've got a penguin one. Penguin necklace. That's handmade for Kibua as well. That's so cute. Wow. I'm just looking around this part again. It Except for big, except for the big Birmingham library, it, obviously in Birmingham, there isn't many libraries I've been to where I'm like absolutely blown away. Look at this. Go. What can I do? Rare books and music. Same, same sound. Let's find out what's in there. Wow, they've got a portrait like of Buck. Wow. Wow. They've got look and like that's Charles Lamb. Wow. Is amazing. Oh, We're not allowed. No, no. Okay. They wouldn't let me vlog in there. <laughs> but to be honest, when I went in there, they're like, "You need a pass, and you can't use the camera." I was like, "Okay." And it didn't even look interesting. There was just like people at desks, and I'm like, "What the hell is that?" So let's go and find something else. I guess. It's 
so hot in here. Gosh, it's crowded. But, you know, London is crowded, so there you go. I'm not... It's not like I'm not expecting crowds. Okay, let's look at the sign. place is strange. It's a strange place. It reminds me of like a university or something. Social sciences. Why do you need a reader's pass? Why? What the hell? Okay, fine, sure. I bet universities use this place. Like, why do you need a pass to get everywhere? Like, what the hell? Should we go off the floor? Should we do something? I literally feel like I'm in university. That's off limits and not in um, a library. Just see if the camera will focus. So there's nothing really in there. I'm going back to the ground floor, I guess. So many places in here. Like, where do I go? Um, even down here. So weird, like, weird. That wasn't as interesting as I expected. <laughs> I literally felt like I was in a university and not a library. That's the outside of it. It doesn't look that interesting from the outside. Oh, where do I go? I want to go to like a museum or something. This is such a random vlog. <laughs> I've basically got like a few hours to kill. They were just like, do what you want. So I'm like, okay then, sure. <laughs> and I'm not confident to use the tubes on my own. So um, yeah, so I'm just walking around. I'm trying to find the British Museum. So I'm going to try and find that, see what happens. <laughs> I've asked like three different people for directions, it's great. The pretty garden over there. Yeah. Can't see it very well, but it's big. It's amazing. We've got no swings or anything, I don't think. It's literally just open greenery, so yeah. But anyway, let's go and attempt to find this British Museum. <laughs> Oh my god, my legs. So, I've got a tube card, but I've never used a tube on my own before. And I could get a taxi, but that will cost a lot of money. So, um, <laughs> yeah. I still don't know where it is. Still trying to find the British Museum. There better be something good at this museum if I'm going all this way. Like, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's the museum. Wow. Oh, it looks massive. Whoa. Look at this place. So those people are coming out, but I want to go in. How do you go in? It's massive. This is just one corner of it. This is like land and sea, China and South Asia, I think. I'm so confused. 
from walking I don't want to go up the floor <laughs> sorry <laughs> is broken and it's five floors I'm going to look around like the gift shop area this, this place is cool look at this These are nice. I'm going to get one of these. I don't know how much they are. Oh, they're four pound fifty. That's so expensive. <laughs> That's expensive. Four pound fifty for that. I'm going to get it anyway because it looks nice. It's huge, like, I know it looked huge from the outside, but oh my god, like, the scale of this place, it's huge, absolutely huge. Now I'm going to look at Greek and Roman sculptures, wow. to those they look really fancy like they were four pound fifty each which is a lot of money because there weren't much chocolate in there but oh well oh well <laughs> How big that museum is. Whoa. <laughs> I wasn't even that far away to be honest, even though I'd walked a lot and it felt like 
a while away. I decided to get a taxi. I know that's um, not very good, like price-wise, because the taxi was £11, whereas I could have just used my visitor's Oyster card. I know. Excuse the noise of the fan in the bathroom. But I'm just gonna sit in my hotel room now and just, yeah, because I'm not gonna venture out anymore. <laughs> oh, I act like I've just ran a marathon or something. I haven't, obviously, but I'm tired. I'm going to go and find everybody now. I'm sure I know the way. <laughs> because <sighs> they're giving us free dinner. They're ordering pizzas for us all at the rehearsal venue. So I'm going there to um, have a free dinner. They look after us so well. It's, it's actually amazing. This is a joint. <laughs> This is where we've been. Some music studios, some rehearsals. I wasn't needed today. I'm needed tomorrow. So, oh, free time. I promise, but anyway, I'm in King's Cross train station and I'm finding the Harry Potter area, which is like platform nine and three quarters because I've always wanted to go and see it, but I've never had the opportunity. So, like, yeah, let's go and find it. So, I found it, but there's a queue for photos. And I don't really look that good today, to be honest, so um, I'm just going to vlog it. There it is there. And then there's the Harry Potter store. my 
myself if I come here later, like now, it would be quieter. And it is, it is quieter, but still quite full, I'm not gonna lie. This is the rest of the store. back to the hotel now because there's nothing else to do pretty tired so you know can't believe I forgot to bring money out with me like what am I like what am I like I left it in my backpack in my hotel room if you're wondering so it's, it's fine it's safe but I just didn't think I would spend any more but there was a few magazines I saw that I wanted but I'll buy them, I can buy them any time, like, within the next week, so, it's fine. Look at that. Jurassic Park figurine. I love when train stations do stuff like this. They don't do this at Birmingham New Street. Do you see it all? Look at that. 